Welcome back, Ohana. Or if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Thomas, and this is Stitches Ohana. So, today I am doing a double unboxing of Wishes Candle Company. That's right, I have two separate orders. Uh, order them at different times, obviously. And um, I've been holding on to one of them because it was kind of a small order until I got the second order and then I'll just do everything at once. So, I've already unboxed one of them completely. I saved one box so you can see what the box looks like. Just says Wishes Candle Company. It's got a couple candles in the front with some reviews on it. Um, and then it says, caution, you are about to be transported to a place of beauty, memories, and smile. Smiles, sorry. So real quick, Wishes Candle Company, they are a candle company that uh, makes Disney inspired scents basically. And these scents can range from attractions to characters to uh, foods and uh, drinks that are part of the park. Um, so it's kind of, all Disney related and I think they're actually kind of opening up to other genres like I think they have a Harry Potter scent a Star Wars scent and so on and so forth so um, they also partner with Bibbidi so in your Bibbidi boxes when you get those you might get a Wishes Candle exclusive to Bibbidi so uh, you know it's an awesome company I love Wishes Candle company and uh, one of the cool things about this company in particular compared to other companies is in every eight ounce pour candle regardless of the scent every single eight ounce pour candle will come with a mystery hidden mickey not mickey but disney pin i like i mentioned these are two separate orders uh, i kept one in the box i did pre-open it so you didn't have to see but uh, the other box is completely opened uh, i didn't want to have to do two box opening so I just kind of wanted to show you what it looks like when you get the box and then also what is in the box so as I mentioned I pre-opened it so this is kind of what you see when you get your box the first thing on top is gonna be a postcard and it has basically the do's and don'ts of candle usage so make sure you're not leaving candles unattended while they're burning make sure you're burning for a certain amount of time to make sure that the entire time you know you're not burning for 30 minutes and then you just get this hole down the center and the the edges are left you know fully intact um, and then also make sure you're trimming your wicks so you don't get this like spark um, and then I'm noticing in the other box and this one also, um, I'm not getting, uh, usually I, they come with sticker packs. Uh, I might've ordered these just at weird times where they're running out or I'm not sure, but usually they come with sticker packs. Um, I didn't get sticker packs in either of these boxes. So, um, you know, it's a bummer. It's not a big deal. Uh, I was kind of hoping for the Christmas inspired ones cause I saw those on their Instagram and they look they pretty cute. So. It's okay though, it's not a big deal. Uh, so the first order I have uh, is just one candle and then two surprises. So <clears throat> your candles will come like this, uh, wrapped up in uh, styrofoam wrap. And then also there's some peanuts at the bottom to keep everything safe and intact. Let me just open this up. So this is part of the Greetings From series, the candle I'm about to show you. And the Greetings From series is basically candles that represent countries that are in Epcot. So you have China, Morocco, Mexico. And what this one is, is America. This is America. So you see a gorgeous label here, America right there. Oh. I'm super excited because I think if I memory serves America scent is like blue raspberry so it's like a super sweet almost like a slushy um, I'll make sure oh yeah I can smell it just opening it right now I'll make sure everything's listed right here what all the scent uh, profiles are so you can see but everything is also on their website so not only do you get a mystery pin in each eight ounce candle but the tops of all the candles are glittery 
So you can see here, I have a gorgeous blue candle right here. And these are all uh, soy wax. You have the red glitter and the white wick, red, white, and blue. Ooh, yes, that is definitely blue raspberry. Oh, it smells just like a slushy. The blue raspberry slushies you get at 7-Eleven or the movie theater or whatever. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. It's like that. If you know me, my, the scent profiles I normally go for are either coffee or pastry, like that sweet coffee, sweet pastry, or like that fruity, citrusy kind of smell. So blue raspberry right up my alley. Oh, so, so nice. Okay, so in that package, I only got one candle, but I also ordered two specialty items, which <clears throat> if you follow Witch's Candle, you know that they're with the Greetings From series, they're starting to do pins that show off that series. So I've been collecting these pins and I have three so far. I think I have uh, Morocco, Mexico, and Italy. So here I have the next one, which is America. So you can see it's the same building that is represented on the label. So that's what these pins are. The same buildings that what is whatever on the same building that is on the label for that country. So this is a fairly big pin. Uh, I think this is the only one I have so far that is a double post. So you can see that the backer card is basically just the Wishes Candle uh, logo. And then the back of these are a sandblasted black. But just like I said, this is a fairly nice size pin. So I'm really excited that I got this. Uh, and then I got a second pin, which I forget what country this one is. Oh, I bought three pins. Two were in one. <laughs> okay, so let's see. I have two pins here. And I think this one's Italy. And I think this one is Morocco. I'm gonna have to double check on that, but I'm pretty sure this is Morocco and this is Italy. And these are both one post pins. You can see that they're quite a bit smaller, but it's the same thing. Uh, black sandblast, single post. Okay, so that was box one. Box two, like I said, I've already opened the box. I've taken them out of the styrofoam wrap just to make it easier. I don't have to worry about editing. Um, so we're gonna go first with I've shown this scent off a couple times in different videos, and this was the scent that was given away as my um, giveaway prize that Kelly and Brayden over at Magical Disney Pals won. It is Boulevard Brews, which I'm assuming this is like a coffee shop or something in uh, the Magic Kingdom or Epcot or something like that. It's from the Florida park. Boulevard Brews, I don't recognize that from Disneyland. Oh, so you have that, uh, what is that? Vanilla-y white soy candle color. And then on top is a brown glitter. Oh my gosh. I'll tell you what, if this is what coffee smells like in the Florida parks, then I'm moving to Florida just for the coffee because wow. That is just amazing. Uh, next up we have hot fresh baked churros. So you see you have a brown soy wax and on top is a white glitter top. Mm. 
So this one's a lot more subtle than like the other two. The other two were like, as soon as you open the top, boom, right in your face, you can smell it. This one's a lot more subtle, which makes me think that when you burn it, it's gonna be big time cinnamon and, uh, well, you know, choro, it's cinnamon. It's a cinnamon breadstick. Oh my gosh, that is great. But again, I think this one is gonna be even stronger once it's being burned. Okay, the last candle that I bought in this second pack is part of the Warrior Collection. Now the Warrior Collection is a different collection that Wishes Candle does, and it's candles that represent warriors in the Disney world, and it's usually princesses. So you have like, uh, Mulan is represented, Belle's represented, um, I think Ariel's represented, um, I think Merida from Brave is represented, and one of my favorite Disney princesses is also represented. I didn't mention her in that list because she's right here. And the reason I picked this one out of the others uh, to start with is because the scent profile is just, it's what I like. So I'm gonna give you a, a couple seconds to take, take a guess. Look at the green soy. It is, the candle is called The Hard Worker and the descriptors are ambitious, humble, and persistent. And then if you look at the label there, you can see in the corners, looks like lily pads. So what princess is this? One, two, three, Tiana. Tiana from The Princess and the Frog. This candle is called The Hard Worker and that completely represents and encompasses who Tiana is. Now the glitter is like really, uh, it blends in really well with the actual candle. It's like a lime green candle with green glitter. So you can see it's there, but it really blends in well. Oh my gosh. Okay, so the other candles I had were like coffee, pastry, and then blue raspberry was like a slushy, so it's still like a dessert, candy-ish. This one, mm, this one is like lemon peel which I love the smell of lemon peel, um, whether it's like candied uh, orange pills or grapefruit pills, or uh, like when, when you have a cocktail and you, they twist the lemon rind. Oh, it's so good. And then cooking with lemon zest is so awesome. Oh, that is, here, take a smell. Mmm, man. That is a good one. So that's why I chose this one. It's that lemon zesty, orangey, peel uh, smell. And again, I'll make sure all the uh, legitimate scent profiles are listed here as I talk about the candle so you can see for yourself. And of, of course, they're all listed above, or not above, but they're all listed on the Wishes Candle Company website. And I highly recommend you check them out. Uh, they're great scents. The the uh, the reach of the scent is really well. Um, they come with glitter on top, and every eight ounce pour. I make sure I mention that eight ounce pours, not the sixteen, but the eight ounce pours. Those pours come with hidden Disney pins in each candle. They're on the back side, and they usually start showing up around here. So you get a good like three to five hours burn, and then you start to see them. So that is it. That is my Wishes Candle unboxing. It's a double unboxing, though you only saw one box uh, just to make it easier for editing. Um, and that's it. So I'm just joking, that's not it. Come on. We all see the box over there. We all know a Thomas giveaway is not complete without at least one candle. But to do that, something needs to change, right? One, two, there we are. Stitches Ohana Santa hat is on. That means I can officially enter an item into the giveaway box. What should I do? Should I give away the Blue Raspberry America? Should I give away Boulevard Bruce? Nope, sorry, that one stays with me. This was part of a giveaway last time and I want this one. Lo siento. Should it be hot, fresh, baked churros? 
or the hard worker Tiana's citrusy lemon. Mm. Um, let's see. Well, this box is supposed to represent things I love and the, what I like, and my typical uh, candle scent preferences are coffee and pastry. That's what I really gravitate to more. So I am choosing hot, fresh baked churros as the giveaway stockpile item for this video. What do you think? Are you excited? Like I said, this one, you can definitely smell the cinnamon. You can definitely smell like that churro -y smell that you smell when you walk by the kiosks. But I, I guarantee you, as soon as you start to burn this one at your place, you will it will like encompass the room. You're gonna get that cinnamony warmth that you have when you eat a churro. There might be some like vanilla from the frosting, I don't know. Again, I'll make sure all those end profiles are listed as I am describing the candles. Okay, so there you are. There is the third day in a row of adding to the box. This box is filling up fairly fast and that's not it. I guarantee you there is so, so, so much more going to that box. Uh, I can't wait to share that all with you. So that's it for me. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and uh, leave me a comment. Let me know one of the four scents. What is your favorite? Two, um, are you going to try one of the different, um, uh, what is it, uh, series? So either the Greetings From or the Warrior series. And three, what do you think about the Choro candle being the next item going into the box? Uh, also, please consider subscribing to my channel. Uh, I would love to see this Ohana grow and to be able to enter into the giveaway stockpile box giveaway, you have to be subscribed and you have to be publicly subscribed. So uh, make sure you subscribe, you hit that bell notification so you can see when I notif uh, upload more uh, videos. And then also make sure you're entered into this giveaway. I will make sure that that video, the official entry video is linked above so you can check that out and make sure you enter. So that is it for me. I hope you enjoyed this one. Um, this is coming up Monday, so have a fantastic start of your week. Uh, I can't wait to see uh, what comes the rest of this week. I know there's more coming. I can't wait to see your reactions. And I think that's it. Yep, I'm racking my brain. That's it. So have a fantastic Monday, a fantastic week, and never, ever, ever forget, you are my Ohana, and Ohana, means family. Bye.